the Biden administration has officially concluded that Russia has committed crimes against humanity during its nearly year of invading Ukraine, U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris said Saturday, in the case of Russia's actions in Ukraine, we have examined the evidence, we know the legal standard. In the case of Russia's actions in Ukraine, we have examined the evidence, we know the legal standards, and there is no doubt, these are crimes against humanity, Harris, a former prosecutor, told the Munich Security Conference, have committed this crime, and to their superiors involved in this crime, you will be held accountable. The official designation, which comes at the end of a legal analysis led by the US State Department, has no immediate consequences for the ongoing war. But Washington hopes it can help further isolate Russian President Vladimir Putin and galvanize legal efforts to hold members accountable, rule through international tribunals and sanctions. Harris's speech came as senior Western leaders met in Munich to assess Europe's worst conflict since World War II. He said Russia was now a weakened country after Biden led a coalition to punish Putin for the invasion, but Russia had only intensified attacks in eastern Ukraine. Meanwhile, Ukraine is planning a spring counteroffensive, seeking more, heavier and longer-range weapons from its western allies. Nearly a year of war has killed tens of thousands, uprooted millions from their homes, battered the global economy and made Putin a pariah in the West. Washington has concluded that Russian troops are guilty of war crimes, as is the United Nations mandated investigation, but the Biden administration's conclusion that Russia's actions amounted to crimes against humanity implies legal analysis that acts ranging from murder to rape are widespread, systematically and deliberately directed against civilians. Under international law, this is seen as a more serious offense. The UN-backed Ukrainian Commission of Inquiry has yet to conclude that the war crimes it says have been identified as crimes against humanity. Barber and inhuman, in his remarks, Harris cited as barbaric and inhumane the number of victims found in Bukha shortly after the Russian invasion last February, the Mariupol Maternity Hospital bombing on March 9, which killed three people, including a child, and the sexual assault of a four-year-old child by a Russian soldier identified by a UN report. Organizations supported by the U.S. Agency for International Development USAID, have documented more than 30,000 incidents of war crimes since the invasion, according to the U.S. government. Ukrainian officials say they are investigating the shooting in the town of Bakhmut this week as a possible war crime. Russia, which says it is carrying out a special military operation, in Ukraine to eliminate threats to its security and protect Russian speakers, denies deliberately targeting civilians or committing war crimes. Let's all agree. On behalf of all victims, known and unknown, justice must be served, Harris said. The Biden administration has attempted to bring suspected war criminals to justice, including training Ukrainian investigators, imposing sanctions, blocking visas and increasing sentences under U.S. war crimes laws. Washington has spent about $40 million on the effort so far and says it is working with Congress to secure an additional $38 million for the effort. But the ability of the Biden administration to enforce such efforts outside its borders, and certainly within Russia, is limited. Gathering evidence in the war-torn country has also proved difficult. International legal entities are also restricted. At the International Criminal Court, 
For example, jurisdiction extends only to member states and countries that have consented to jurisdiction, such as Ukraine but not Russia. Kyiv has been pushing for new international war crimes organizations to focus on an invasion of Russia, which Moscow opposes. If Putin thinks he can wait for us, he is dead wrong, Harris said. Time was not on his side. Germany's Attorney General said on Sunday, February 5, that his office had collected hundreds of evidence pointing to war crimes by Russian forces in Ukraine, calling for an international effort to bring the leaders to justice. Right now we are focusing on the mass killings in Bucha and attacks on Ukrainian civilian infrastructure, Prosecutor Peter Frank told the Welt and Sontag newspaper. said most of the evidence came from interviews with Ukrainian refugees, and his goal now was to prepare for possible court cases later, either in Germany or with our foreign partners or international courts. Frank's office previously used the principle of universal jurisdiction, which allows the prosecution of certain serious crimes wherever they occur, to try Syrians for atrocities committed during the country's civil war. Under the same principle, a group of people from Myanmar last month filed criminal charges in Germany, accusing their country's military of genocide, war crimes and crimes against humanity. Frank said his office had started an investigation into Ukraine in March 2022. We are not targeting specific people in our investigation, but rather gathering information and evidence, he said he acknowledged, however, that the prosecution of suspected war criminals in Germany was only possible if they were in the country. German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbeck last month called on the court to get around the fact that the International Criminal Court ICC, despite launching its own investigation last year, cannot try Russia for possible war crimes because neither Russia nor Ukraine are members of the ICC. The Hague-based court. Who do we want to bring to court? The leaders of nations, those who make the decisions to start wars, and people at the highest levels of the military carry out these decisions, Frank said. In my opinion, that requires accounting at the international level, either through the International Criminal Court or before the special tribunals finally reach the international community. On the outskirts of Kyiv Buka alone, hundreds of bodies have been found after Russian troops were driven out last March. The killing sparked international condemnation and accusations of war crimes, which Moscow has repeatedly denied. Since Russia invaded Ukraine in February 2022, the dominant Western media narrative has been clear. Russia is a global villain, and Ukraine is a role model country that fell victim to an unjust war. But while the war may be unfair, Ukraine has problems before conflict with Russia escalates in 2022. Expert analysis shows that Russia waged an illegal war and has committed most of the human rights violations in the conflict, such as targeting Ukrainian civilians. Ukraine is also suspected of committing war crimes against Russian soldiers during the conflict. Like Russia, the country has had a mixed record over the last two decades regarding the treatment of its citizens. We are human rights scholars who helped launch the world's largest quantitative dataset, known as CIRIGHTS, to track global human rights by December 2022. Our analysis shows that while Ukraine's pre-war human rights record is better than Russia's, it is far below the global average. Along with ongoing problems of government corruption, Ukraine has been cited by Western human rights groups for not prosecuting hate crimes and failing to properly address and respond to gender-based violence.